Well, we have rain in the area and rain likely for the whole week, as Eric's been talking about. And rain could lead to a deadly fungus inside of your home. And here with us now is Joe Gilligan, who knows a lot about mold and how you can deal with it before it gets bad. Good morning to you. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As I well. saw you eyeing that, that rainy forecast. I was. What does that mean for you know the mold that we're talking about this morning? Well, it could present a lot of problems with crawl spaces and basements. Even though in Oklahoma City there's not an abundant amount of basements, there are several districts that do have have quite a few basements. Typically people don't go down there very often, so they kind of, it's out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Yes. Um, but with the amount of rain that's coming, we're going to have issues, groundwater seeping in, things like that, and mold will be an issue. Okay. I was, you took me exactly where I was going to go next, the out of sight, out of mind thing. When you don't see anything, you know, you don't treat it, and then all of a sudden, one day it pops up and it's out of control. Mm -hmm. What mold are we talking about here? Different kinds or one specific that you're worried well, about? Well, there's, there's over 100,000 species of mold. So it, it's very hard to tell just by looking at it. Typically, you have to have some sort of testing done. Um, but what you want to do is if you can smell it, you might want to have some air samples done to see if you do have an air quality issue. Or if you do see it, then you need to call a professional and have them come in and assess the situation. Okay. I was born without a sense of smell, so I, yeah. I can't smell any of that. But what are you looking for specifically on the wall for people who may maybe share my kind of issue? You might have some, some water spots on the wall or the ceilings, things like that, that are showing you areas that could have damp or moisture uh, issues. Also, some discoloration could be any color. It could be green. It could be yellow. It could be black, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but there's there's always going to be some sort of signs of, of mold if, there, if it's happening most of the time on the surface. In all your years of experience with, with dealing with this, do you find that people usually start to feel symptoms of being irritated by it before they actually physically see it inside of their homes? It actually depends on the person. If it's an elderly person or a young person or somebody with an immune deficiency of some sort, they typically will feel the symptoms first before you ever see it. Um, it could be anything from nausea to headaches, body aches, or just respiratory issues. So it really depends on the person. And off the top there, we, we mentioned a, a deadly type of fungus. I, is there one that, that we're talking about here that, or, or does that also just depend on if you're allergic to it? It does. There's several species that can be very, very harmful to your health. But the one that gets uh, coined as the black mold is a specific species called Stachybotrys. And really, the only time you can tell if you have that is by testing. What kind should be people be getting and how frequently should we be getting those inside of our homes? Um, really it's not there's there's not a constant or frequent thing that you should be doing it's just a matter of keeping an eye out watching your home making sure you have the proper weatherproofing in store we've had an unusual wet summer this year so a lot of people are starting to see symptoms from that uh, from groundwater getting in their homes and in places they weren't used to um, but usually you're going to smell it or you're going to see it growing on the surface areas of your home first. And talk about the damage that mold could lead to. You know, I think a lot of people maybe say, oh, I see a couple spots, but those will dry out, mm -hmm. you know, when the weather changes. But if you go untreated, what, what could go wrong inside your home? Well, a lot of people don't realize that mold is early stages of rot. And when your, your structure, your building structure starts to rot, you lose structural integrity. And so your, your walls could lose structural integrity, your ceilings, your roof joists, things like that, that have moisture issues. Mm -hmm. What are some of the, the biggest mistakes that you see people make when it comes to this problem? I'm so glad you asked that. The number one mistake is bleach water. Um, we've all grown up thinking that was the right, proper way to treat uh, mold. But the problem is, is you're supplying water to that, ble the, to that mold area. And mold requires moisture and water to grow and thrive. It's just not, it's not built to kill the mold and porous materials like some of the new products that are designed to do so. So you're just adding fuel to the, the Petri dish, if you will, you by are, doing it you yourself. Is, is there any remedy that you suggest, you know, trying yourself before you call in the professional that um, would work better? If, if it's not too bad and you think it's something you can clean off a, a non-porous surface, um, you, you know, you can try um, peroxides, vinegars, or even just Dawn and, and, Dawn and water will do the trick. Um, but if it's gotten into porous materials such as drywall, um, wood, or anything like that, then you probably need to call a professional come out in a situation. Okay, really good to know, especially as we're looking at uh, a week that's entirely rainy. Yes. Uh, Joe, so nice to meet you. Nice to Thank meet you, you for your time. Absolutely. We Thank do appreciate you. it.